Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, today we're going to be working with uh, Visual Studio and C Sharp. We're going to connect to our student tracker database using ODVC connections. Um, so in order to do this, what we have to do first is uh, create a new project. We're going to use a C Sharp console application and we'll be using the um, SQL data client object in uh, C Sharp. Okay, I'm going to call this project data connection. Again, you can call it anything you like. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop for now uh, just so I can easily work with it. We're doing a visual C Sharp console application. Okay, so we push OK. And um, once, uh, once we have this up, we're going to be uh, adding in a couple um, a couple uh, instantiations here to get us up and running. So in order to connect to a database we need two things. Of course we need a database of course so we have created our student tracker database over here. Um, we need to know how to connect to that database and uh, in order to do that we have to use a connection string and a connection object. So in uh, C sharp we have this object called um, the SQL connection and you notice it's uh, all underlined if I click in the middle of it and click control period um, that will give me this list of things to do uh, and we're going to be selecting the using uh, system.data.sql client okay that adds it up here if you can see all right. So this SQL connection, we have to provide it with a, a, a string to connect uh, to connect the system. And this string is a delimited uh, set of rules, if you will, for how to do that. If I click on uh, Student Tracker, uh, just in case it doesn't show up for you, you can just right click on that and press Properties. Right in the general section here, I have connection strings. If you double click on connection string and go to control C, you can go right over here in between those two quotes and paste it in. Okay. Now, if you notice here, this little slash, uh, this is, uh, this is a string literal. So it needs to be, um, I need to do that with an escape. So it has to be two slashes to make a slash work or I can very easily in C sharp just put a little uh, at symbol at the beginning and that signifies that it's a string okay so let's talk about what uh, what this uh, connection string actually does we're going to only focus on a few parts of it because there's some that just aren't necessary for what we're doing right now um, first of all the data source okay that is our uh, local DB slash uh, bdat1004 which is right here okay we have our initial catalog, which is our database that we're connecting to. Integrated security means that we are going to be working with Windows authentication. In other words, it doesn't uh, doesn't need any extra credentials, um, and uh, you can you can connect with other credentials. In other words, for supplying a username and password. But today we're not going to be worried about that. Okay, and then there's a few other um, statements here that. Uh, we won't be focusing on <coughs> and uh, I'll be getting into them at a later date okay so in order to uh, get into our database we have to open our connection okay and to do that we have to do uh, something called a try catch okay finally block okay and I'll explain to you why. All right, what this block does is basically, you know, it'll catch any errors that we we do while we're trying to connect to our database. Um, sometimes what happens is that the uh, the the connection may fail during this point, and it has to exit out uh, quickly and uh, do that. Okay, so. And then what we have to do if it's if it screws up, then you know we have to close the connection and get out of it. Oops, got to spell right. There we go. Okay. 
All right, and then somewhere in here, um, we're going to write write out what the exception actually was. Okay, so let's so we'll do the message. We'll just throw out the message. So hopefully it'll give us a little bit of detail about uh, what the issue was. But uh, because we're experts here, we're not going to run into any problems. All right. So now what we need to do, we need to declare a data reader. And in this case, we're going to be doing just a select statement. So uh, it's just a query on the database. Okay. Um, we also need to have a command. All right. And this command is, um, is going to be using, excuse me while I type here, um, is going to be set up to use a straight up select statement. So we're going to do something simple like select star from students. Okay, very simple. No joins, uh, anything like that, all simple stuff. Okay, now we do reader equals command.execute reader. Okay. Now this is going to feed all the data from the command into the reader object. All right. And then from this point, uh, we are going to uh, iterate over the data. All right. And we're going to uh, pull the data from the reader now. Okay. So to do this, we're going to again use our console object. Okay. And we're going to pull some information. We're going to use the string.format command here. And we're going to pull some information from our reader. Okay. So our reader works off this. Remember, all we did was we, we are pulling an array of student objects off of this. Okay. Which means that if we look at our table, okay, our tables here, we should have a student's table. And it is right here. Okay, our columns. And because we used uh, select star from students, we, uh, we're going to collect all of the, the, the uh, attributes of a student. So we're going to pull uh, first name, and um, then we can pull the last name as well. Okay, oops, I'm going to put that into the right spot here. Okay. And like that, Oops, I'm using the wrong quotes. Let's just to get it right here. Okay, there we go. And we convert that to a string. Okay. Okay, how many things do we have here? Oh, missing. There we go. Okay. And because we are going to be putting in, well, I'm going to use the, the last name as well. Okay. So now we have two uh, items in our arguments list, our, our, our parameters that we're going to feed into format. So the way we do form this format command here, this will take the first element, right? This is the first one. Okay. And the second element, which is this one. Okay, and we're going to combine it with a space between it. All right. Now, if all went well, um, we can close our reader after that and then exit out and end up with uh, closing the connection. So let's give it a sh this a shot here. We'll try to see if this works. Okay. Compiling so far so good. Now, if it all went well, it may just blink and, and go away. But hopefully, we can see what we got here. I'll I'll run it again because I have to keep the window open. Okay, if you can see here, we have it all open. I'm just going to do one more thing here, just so that this stays open. We do read key. Okay, read key will just hold it open. We'll just run that one more time. Okay, so what we have is our list of names. All 
right? And it is uh, just in in a you know in a, a the order that they came. In other words, so it's there's no uh, no sorting, nothing nothing interesting about this. Okay. And from here, we can really uh, we can really execute almost any command here. So um, if you recall, we we had some views that we created as well. So, you know, if I want to do uh, view student addresses, for example, um, I, can, I can do that as well. So let's do view student addresses. Okay. And we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we'll have the right columns and everything will work. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, it, maybe it'll give us an error, we'll see. But we'll know in a moment. Okay, so, so far we haven't got anything, so let's find out what's, uh, what's actually happening here. Okay, we should have something. Thing yet, so we're going to debug a little bit and find out uh, what we uh, what we actually have. Let's right, see if we actually have any data from our from our reader. It's possible we don't, right? Okay, so we're going to look at that and we're going to dig into. It says has rows, so in other words, we don't have any data. Um, so we we have uh, fields, in other words, we have attributes for data, but no data came out. All right. Okay. So what we do is we do a little statement that says data has rows uh, greater than zero. All right. If we have data that's greater than zero, oops, there we go that yeah, what's happening here ah has rows is a true or false I'm, I'm sorry okay equals true okay and uh, that should be it so if it's got uh, if it has rows and I'm going to do this, all right? So here, we're going to do console.write line and have some error control messages that says no data available, okay? Why don't we do this here? We're going to just check to see is uh, you know is is there any data that's coming from our view student addresses? It's possible that there's not, right? And yeah, there's no data data there, so that would uh, explain why we're having some problems. Let's do view data here on our student courses. Okay, we have one in courses, so why don't we use that one? Yeah, silly me. So let's pull that in. All right. Okay, there we go. Let's try this one more time. We'll just make sure as well that we've got the right columns here because we've changed our data reference. I have first name, last name. Okay, and I think we're pretty good here. So we'll run it. Okay, so so far we only have one entry for Chris Dick. Okay, and let's throw in the course name now. Okay, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna move these down to the next line just to keep us a little more organized looking here. And that was we want course code. Okay. Let's see, course code. Just copy that. And then course name. Okay. 
wife's name. Of course, I could type these things out just as easily, but I figured what I would do is show people some different ways to uh, grab information. Oop. And I lost my last name. There we go. Last name. And so now we have four uh, items that are going to be in our, our list to print out. It's going to be first name, last name, course code, course name, and tell you what, just to be interesting, we'll do this. And then we'll say is registered. Registered. Got to spell right. Got to type right. Registered in. Okay. Let's run that. Right, so Chris Dick is registered in BDAT 1004 data programming. All right, we're looking pretty good. Okay, so that was uh, our lesson in querying data. Um, showed you a few examples there, and uh, we're going to get into our next uh, session where we are inserting data using this. This, uh, this method as well, we're executing uh, non-query commands. So don't forget to like and share, and please subscribe to my channel. We'll catch you on the next lesson. Thanks, guys.